Okay, on today's tutorial, we're going to do a interactive search button. You have your search icon button, you click it, it expands out into a search field with a blinking cursor. When you tap into the search field, we simulate typing and showcase some search results. And when you close it, it collapses up and returns to its initial state. Pretty easy, so let's get started. All right. So I've got my search result component already built, which is just an icon text and the number of results. I've got an icon for search and a close. So I'm going to take that search icon. I'm going to add some text that says search re. So we're simulating the uh, typing of text, so I don't want to put the full text. Um, I am going to say we're going to build out the full component, the full expanded text box first, and then we'll shrink it down. So we've got that. I've got my close icon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these, hit Shift A. I'm going to set my search result to fill container. I am going to bring my space down to about 10. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this search header. Um, because I am going to put a container around it to house all the results. So you'll notice when I type in here, we've got this blinking cursor. So let's make one of those to put in our search, um, search box as well. So I hit L for my line tool, draw straight down, I'll do about 16. Uh, there we go, single line, looks good. I'm going to turn it into a component, which I'm going to call search blinker. I'm going to add a new state, and I'm just going to hit the, the uh, um, one button to bring the opacity down to one. I'm going to select my first variant. I'm going to add an interaction of after delay, one second, change to variant two, resolve, we'll give it 200. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing for this. So interaction, after delay, change to that's my blinker. Easy peasy. Okay. Move that over here, out of the way. So I will go to my assets, find my blinker, drag it into my search header. So now it's part of auto layout, but I don't want it there because this fills the whole thing. So I'm going to set it to absolute position and I'm going to bump it right down to the end of my fake text. There we go. Looks good. So now I'm going to take this search header and I'm going to hit Shift A again. I'm just going to fill it in another auto layout. I'm going to add a fill to that. I'll be around the corners of like 8. Uh, padding of 10 is good. Spacing of 10 is good. Uh, I am going to set this to a fixed width because I'm using a mobile layout so I know what my width is going to be. It's 350. And then I'm going to make sure that this is set to fill container. OK. Um, top left, that's all fine. I am going to put on clip content. And then I'm going to change this to say tutorial search bar. Spell that whole thing wrong. All right, so now we're going to build out our search result state. So I'm going to hit L again. Just down here, I'm going to draw a line, set it to fill container, probably set it to two, hit two to set it to 20% opacity. Uh, then I'm going to bring in a search result, make sure that's set to fill. And I'm going to duplicate that maybe that many times. And then I'm going to select each of those search results, hit Shift-A again, make sure clip content is on, and we'll name that one results. Okay. 
and you'll see why we do that in a minute. So there we go, there's our built out search results. So now I can turn this into a component. I can add a new variant, and this variant will be, we'll call it open bar. So this will be our open state without any search results um, before we even enter any text. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select my line and I'm just gonna hide that layer. Next, I'm going to take the search result. We have to make sure that they are aligned to the bottom left. We'll probably do that here too. And I'm gonna shrink them up. And the reason we're doing that is so instead of just appearing, they're actually going to accordion down when this expands. So I'll shrink them up, and then I'm actually just going to go up here and just hit 1. But now you can see this is kind of off. So what we'll do is we'll also adjust our spacing from 10 to minus 1, and that brings us to a nice symmetrical search bar. And now this is just going to say search dot 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 because it'll be a placeholder uh, I'm gonna hit three for my opacity 30% and now our blinker needs to move over to the start of that since it's a placeholder text okay there we go there's our open state and actually what I might do here while we're doing it is I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna add drop shadow that's 12. That's good enough. Same thing. You got to be careful um, to make sure that these are the same because when it animates, Figma animate, if the drop shadow is different, will actually just fade the animation instead of actually changing the shape. So it's you got to keep your, your drop shadows consistent. Uh, so in fact, what we might do is uh, create a style called search shadow that way we can just make sure that we are using search shadow on all of them uh, and then the next state we're gonna do we're gonna create one more variant is we are gonna make our icon button so this is set to clip content which is good so we'll call this icon button we're actually just going to shrink that in. No, that's not working, is it? Right. So our uh, search header actually has to go from fill to fixed. And we'll probably do that here too. And then it can actually slide in. And we will make sure that we are 44 by 44. We are going to hide our search blinker. And then I'm going to adjust my corners to be 22. So now we have a round button. Okay. Now the only other thing we have to do here is we're going to, because I don't want, when you click this close button, I don't want the whole thing to just scale in. I want it to roll up and then go over. We've got to create one more version of this state, and we're just going to call it interim. And you'll see why in a second. So, from here, when you click that, we're going to prototype that to there, and we're going to do smart animate at 300. Perfect. When you tap into our search header, we're going to go up to our full result, smart animate, that's good. When you hit this close button, we are going to smart animate back down to here. And now when you hit this close button, we are actually going to go to our interim state. And then from our interim state, you can just select the whole variant. We're going to go to this button after delay of one and that should do it so now if we were to create let's just give this a, oops, not a gradient geez a 
background. So now if we were to drop our component in. So right now our default state is um, open. So you can reorder these and change that if you like. Uh, I'm just going to switch to icon button. So now when you s you notice that it went up to the top left, that's not what we want to happen. So you got to go back to default. You actually have to set your constraints here to top right. And then you can switch this to icon button. And there you go. So now if we add a starting point and we hit go, this should all work the way it's intended. So there's our icon button. We click that. Our search bar animates out. We've got a blinker. You tap the search text. Everything rolls out beautifully. And now if you hit the close button, it rolls up and collapses back to our search button. Easy peasy. Uh, I hope it was helpful. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Um, check out my other channels, check out my other videos, other Figma tutorials. Um, and we'll see you next time. Thank you very much.